One more awesome tool that is in there is Sweep. That will take us to all of them. We know Extrude, we know Revolve and Loft. Now we'll look at Sweep. Okay, so what we need again is a sketch line. So I'm going to start with a three point arc. Nice and easy to use. So I click once to specify the first point of the arc. Second one over here and the third one to actually get it in the right place. Then I go enter. So that's given me my sketch. I'll click off that. I need to get another shape now, so I'll go into a circle and I need to click on a uh, the grid to tell it that I want it to be on the grid. Don't click it on here because it'll become part of that object. So I click on the grid, doesn't matter where on the grid. But I'm going to specify the center of the, uh, the circle at the start of that. So I'll put it on there like that. So there's my uh, circle and I'll go exit sketch. So now I've got a circle and an arc. What I'm going to do now is select the circle, go control T so that I can rotate that circle around and I'm going to tip that circle up like that and that will be 90 degrees, enter and there we go. So we've got an arc and a circle. And what I'm going to do with the sweep tool is then get the circle to follow that arc and the way I do it is like this. I go up to the construct tool down to sweep it gives us this widget which I'll just drag down here so you can see what's happening with it now for some reason it always goes to profile first but what we need to do is select path first so I click on path and I say this is the path that I want to use then I go to profile and I click on the circle and say that is the profile I want and there we go simple as that we get a nice shape that's followed a path so um, really really simple you can do it with any kind of shape and it's always the same process. So I'll um, back that up again, Control Z, back up to my widget, sweep, path first, so there's my path, profile second, and there's my profile, click it and it does the rest for you. Enter, activated. Now if you click on that you can go Control T, move that around, do what you like with it and like with other things it leaves behind the sketches if you're finished with the sketches you can simply delete them or you might want to make another one but that's how we use our sweep tool